Hi guys, welcome to my video of my monthly stock earnings for video and stock photography for the month of May. I've had a pretty busy uh, May, I have to admit. The last couple of weeks have had really good weather, so I've been getting out as much as possible because uh, a month or so before that the weather just didn't change for week after week after week and it was grey and rainy. So it was good to have a bit of freedom and go out and just get some nice blue skies and sunshine. Um, so what I did is I went to the beach a lot and took a lot of video on the beach uh, with like umbrellas blowing in the wind kind of themes with blue sky and sand and uh, sea behind it as a background. Um, I also go for walks in the morning on the beach and uh, I keep my eye on the sand and I found this uh, ray or shark egg on the uh, sand and I just got down on my belly and I videoed that with the sea and the sky behind it. I also uh, took a nice video fairly close up of a, a couple of horses and their riders going past. Um, I wanted to kind of make it an editorial shot so I cut off the uh, the top half of the riders so you couldn't see their identities because of privacy laws in the Netherlands. Uh, often you can't publish those si sorts of images. So I'm still deciding whether I can use that as a commercial video, whether the horses are identifiable or just go with a, an editorial video. Uh, what else did I do? The beach season is open, so there's also a lot of surf lifesaver vehicles uh, on the beach. Uh, so I've been also doing a similar style of videos uh, of those vehicles, whether it's um, uh, beach buggies or uh, jet skis. So I'm pretty happy with those videos that I've taken so far. I've also been taking photos and I went into town the other day just to have a bit of fun basically and do a bit of photo hunting. And even though I didn't find very much, I think I got a couple of nice keepers. And the first one was a nice light blue classic Ford Mustang from the 1960s, I think. And they're really rare in the Netherlands, so uh, I've got a pretty good chance of selling that image. Uh, also, the usual electric cars charging. I got a nice one where the electric cord was going over the top of the vehicle and the color of the blue cord contrasted nicely with the paint of the vehicle. So I was happy with that one. I also uh, sneaked a, uh, a photo of my mechanic's uh, rare Renault hot hatch, which is, uh, I think there was only a hundred or thirty 130 or so made, uh, so they're a rare vehicle. Uh, and you may also notice that the sound on this video is better than the last two or three that I've uh, had. And the reason is uh, my uh, lav mic, or my, wild, my uh, mic that I attached to my clothes, uh, it broke and I had to rely on my uh, shotgun mic on the camera. But uh, I've replaced that broken Boyer mic. Um, I had to think about what I could replace it with. And I, I didn't really feel like spending 300 euros on the new Rode uh, Mic Go system uh, at this stage. So I just forked out 20 euros and bought another Boyer mic. Um, what broke off it was just a holder that keeps it on my clothes. Uh, but because they're so cheap, I just bought another set uh, for 20 euros. So hopefully the sound is better on this video than it is in the last couple. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're here to talk about uh, my earnings for the month of May. So let's get started. Now, I remember back when I started this channel uh, saying to you guys, as long as I see growth, uh, I'll continue to upload stock images and videos. Uh, but that was before the world was invaded by COVID and the chaos that ensued. And obviously that uh, has caused my earnings to shrink rather than grow. Uh, another thing that has made my earnings shrink is Shutterstock 
reducing their commission rates. So that has also been a double whammy uh, to my earnings. The other third thing is that my upload rate has reduced significantly since I've started making YouTube videos. So it was a kind of three strikes and I'm out. So I'd say for the last six to seven months, my growth has plateaued and dropped. So what am I going to do about it? Well, I'm going to tell you about that a little bit later, but first let's look into my earnings. And we'll start off with Adobe stock. And with that agency, I have 861 photos. Uh, I think I've got a handful of videos, but I haven't sold many videos on that uh, agency, if any, from memory. This month, in the month of May, I had 21 downloads. And the highlight was a pic of some sand dune with grass growing on the top of it with a nice blue sky and sunshine. Uh, and it's beach season now in the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, so it's understandable why that image would sell. It kind of uh, highlights nature, uh, outdoor living, uh, the beach and the coast and good weather. Um, for that photo, I made $3.30. The other sales were mostly 99 cents and 33 cents. So there were no real highlights there. And I think I sold about six or seven uh, photos of the gannet that's trapped in plastic. Uh, overall, I made $18.30 with Adobe stock. With Getty images or Getty iStock, um, I have a portfolio of 1,272 images and 55 videos. Uh, I had 17 downloads for May, and uh, one of the highlights was a photo of a, a pumpkin. Um, normally we upload uh, with the idea of a three-month cycle, so what we upload now, we expect uh, the customers to uh, upload or buy uh, three months in advance. So if I look now, what are we in June now? July, August, September, we're kind of coming into the buying period of uh, fall or autumn. And in autumn, September, October, you see pumpkins. So I guess this guy is really out ahead of the curve and getting in early. Uh, but that uh, pumpkin photo sold for $1.19. I also sold my favorite pics of daffodils for 91 cents and uh, an electric delivery van for 68 cents. Uh, this really quirky, skinny delivery van, which is really high and looks like if it goes around a corner too quickly, it'll just fall over. Um, I sold that for 68 cents. The low light of uh, Getty Eye Stock for May was selling a photo of a classic American Oldsmobile uh, in the flower fields. And uh, that's a unique photo. It's a rare photo. You've got the flower fields. You've got a classic American car in the Netherlands. Uh, but that was only worth eight cents, apparently, according to Eye Stock Getty, which is a bit of a blow. OK, with IEM, I've had a couple of dry months with them. Uh, I've got a portfolio size of 422 picks. Uh, of those 422 picks, uh, 326 are available on the market of IEM, and 195 of them are available uh, are available uh, with partner agencies um, such as uh, Getty. Uh, but I had 16 downloads in May, which was quite a lot even though the amounts were very small. Uh, I sold uh, four or five or six uh, photos of the usual mustard pot, which is very popular for some strange reason. Uh, and I sold uh, two of the hard drives that I photographed. And I sold one of the daffodils. In total, I made $5.70 for IEM uh, in May. Okay, now to dreams time where I have 2,169 assets. 
I only had three downloads. One was of some shiitake mushrooms, which sold for 38 cents. And two were of the heritage carrots that I photographed during my uh, indoor stock photography video that I made a couple of months ago. Uh, those two photos of the colorful heritage carrots, um, they sold for 38 cents each. Uh, in total, I made a whole $1.14 for Dreams Time. And now moving on to 123RF. I have 1,382 images for that agency and I had six downloads this month. Uh, the highlights were uh, I sold a photo of a Japanese garden in The Hague for $3.44 and that garden is always open in October so you've got some really vibrant autumn colours and there's a, a colourful bridge going across a little creek. And yeah, Japanese gardens are always a good bet uh, because they're always beautiful and uh, there's a lot of them around the world. What else did I sell? Uh, I also sold a photo of a bicyclist on a bike path uh, cycling towards the modern city skyline of The Hague. Uh, in total for 123RF I made $5.56. Now to Big Stock, I made no sales on Big Stock and I haven't uploaded them to them for two or three or four months. Um, the only reason being that I have difficulty with their uploading process on their website. For some reason, uh, a lot of errors show up. So uh, I just can't be bothered doing something and then repeating it two or three times. It seems a waste of time to me. Uh, so until I get a handle on their FTP uploading system, I'm not uploading to them. Deposit Photos uh, is up next and I have a portfolio of almost 2,000 assets with videos and photos. Most of those 95% are photos. And in May I had six downloads. Uh, highlight is um, a photo that I took very early one morning on the beach. I think it was in late autumn and there were no people around and the tide had gone out leaving all of this smooth sand and just these footprint prints going off into the distance and I angled my camera so that I'd only got beach, sky and sea. So it looks like it's a deserted beach on some kind of remote coast. Um, if I'd pivoted slightly to the left, then there would have been uh, beach cafes and some hotels in the background. Uh, but by pivoting to the right, I created this illusion uh, that uh, makes the photo something that it's not, but also uh, gives the impression that I wanted to create, which was a deserted coastal beach. Uh, with these footprints going into the sand, which is a good conceptual uh, photo. Uh, what else? Um, I also went into town, uh, yeah, last year and photographed some uh, COVID testing uh, locations where they do speed tests. So you, I think you can get your COVID test results within an hour. And I just saw people going in and I didn't want to photograph the people for privacy reasons. I wouldn't want to be photographed going into a test site. So I just photographed the sign and the uh, test site itself when there was nobody around. Um, that photo sold for 25 cents. Not a huge amount, um, but I thought uh, the concept was interesting. And the Footsteps in the sand photo that I was talking about earlier made $2.46. In total, I made $3.85 for deposit photos. Okay, now on to Alamy. And for a while there, I was selling uh, two or three photos a month with Alamy. And I think my sales were getting up around uh, the 50, 60 to 100 euros or more, which was wonderful while it was happening uh, but for the last three months I haven't sold a single photo on Alamy so for May uh, my 
balance with Alamy is zero, which is really, 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 or slightly even, no, that's very disappointing. Uh, Pond five, same scenario, no sales this month. So that means no videos, <clears throat> which usually deliver at least $10 or more per sale. Um, uh, one of my subscribers did give me a great tip uh, and he said uh, just upload uh, your favorite photos to Pond5 and set the price at 20 euros. So I uploaded um, about 150 of my most popular photos to Pond5 and I set the price between 15 and 20 dollars and I've had absolutely no response with that so far. It was worth a try. Um, I'll give it another month or two and if that doesn't work then I'll either drop the prices or just not bother uploading anymore. Um, so that's just a strategy from one of my subscribers. Thank you uh, to them. I'm not going to mention their name because I'm not sure if they want their name mentioned but much appreciated just for a tip anyway. Okay, and now to Shutterstock. But before I do that, uh, if you found anything from this uh, video interesting or helpful to you, please hit the like uh, button on this uh, video. And if you haven't already done so, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I make a video most weeks and it's all about stock photography and videography with a little bit of nature and uh, classic cars sh thrown in for good measure. Um, and if you uh, also feel extra generous, then feel free to buy me a cup of decaf cappuccino. The link is in the description. And uh, those donations will help me uh, keep this channel going with the costs of cameras breaking or being dropped most likely and me replacing my sound gear and tripods and stuff like that. Okay, Shutterstock. Now with them I have 2207 images. Um, I've got 127 videos. And in May I made 47 downloads or sales. Uh, the low light of the whole month, the second high, low light that is, uh, a low light uh, for this agency is that I sold a video for only 46 cents. Um, I am speechless. I don't know what to say about that. Uh, it was a clip pack, so that was a low light. Uh, I can't say anything more about that. It speaks for itself. Uh, another low light was I only sold two on-demand photos and I see this trend of selling less on-demand photos because I guess the subscription prices are so low, 10 to 12 cents, which I'm selling a heap of, but it doesn't really make any difference to my bottom line when you sell 40 of those. Um, yeah, so these Slowing down of on-demand sales has really hit my bottom line. Um, and I suppose I can talk about some highlights with these guys. Uh, I took a picture of some sheep. $2.24. And that was the only highlight. Uh, so in total I made $13.55 for Shutterstock, which is... My lowest earnings uh, since I started stock photography in 2016. So this growth curve has de definitely hit a brick wall there. Okay, in total for May 2021, I made $56.33, which uh, is speaks for itself. Um, why is this so low? Well, firstly, I've relied overly or too much on one stock agency for too long. And I don't need to name that stock agency because we all know which one it is. Uh, the commissions have tanked uh, and my earnings have just gone to the bottom with it. 
so that's the first reason. Secondly, uh, this tanking of commissions is what happens when you rest on your laurels uh, and you don't upload regularly every week. And when I mean upload regularly, I mean at least once a week at least 30 to 50 photos or a dozen videos. And I just haven't been doing that. I've been too busy doing videos. Uh, I've been too busy working and doing other things. <laughs> so it's definitely time. I've hit the brick wall. I've hit rock bottom. There's only one place to go now. Um, so passive income can only last for so long not being supported uh, by hard work. Um, so it took a year and a couple of global disasters and a commission disaster to get to this point. Uh, but the writing is on the wall. It's dead obvious. I have to upload more regularly and more often, more often and more in quantity. Uh, and I also have to spread my uploads to different agencies and get a bit more creative. Fine Art America, book covers, like I said I would, and I haven't done. Last summer I said I'm going to upload a heap of book covers. I've just been distracted by work and other things and it hasn't happened. But if I want to grow, which I do, uh, I'm going to have to get creative and think outside the box. Otherwise, my stock portfolio is just going to wither and die. Okay, so it's time for me to get back to work with stock photography and videography. So stay tuned to this channel and uh, see what progress I'm making. I'm going to be talking about what I've been doing to dig myself out of this hole. And you will find out, I guess, uh, in the next earnings review uh, for June and uh, yeah we will see what happens it's interesting have you guys uh, have a similar uh, situation to me I'm juggling so many balls uh, that one has been dropped and the ball that got dropped was stock photography you guys are probably more focused on stock photography uh, rather than uh, YouTube videos. So I'm interested to see if you've been uh, in a similar boat to what I've been in. Uh, so let me know in the comments. Anyway guys, talk to you uh, hopefully next week and uh, look after yourselves. Bye! And uh, the highlight 